Hi everyone, I'm your host Sheridan Nichols and welcome to Inside Bristol. Well, kicking off today, we have a very special guest in-house today and that is Claudia Bird. Thank you so much for being with us. And I think this is the first time on the show, so I know everybody's super excited to hear from you. Well, thank you. I am thrilled to be here. Thanks for asking me. It's been me. such a long time. Claudia and I met years ago when I think I did a Speedway and Lights event with you, one yes. of the first ones, so it was a long time ago. But we are going to talk about the charities, the Speedway Children's Charities, and just what it is, and tell us what where you're at, what you're doing, how we can help, all that good stuff. Well, you're sweet, and thanks for having me, and I do appreciate your continued support of, of Speedway Children's Charities. For those who might not know, Speedway Children's Charities is a nonprofit uh, organization, and our sole purpose is to raise money to distribute back to nonprofit children's organization in the areas surrounding uh, Bristol Motor Speedway. And we serve nine counties in um, Tennessee and nine counties in Southwest Virginia. And you know, it's great. All we do is raise money through events year round. And like you mentioned, our biggest fundraiser is Speedway and Lights, which is just around the corner. But we have to do other things, you know, throughout the year. And we have been blessed over the, the past uh, 19 years to have raised over nine and a half million dollars. And all of that money's gone to kids. Isn't that great? It is great. It it's really is. We We're truly blessed. And so we have a lot of things throughout the year. Um, you know, during race week, we had seven different activities going on. Because when race fans are in town, we want to do things. We love to do things that not only help children, children that maybe give uh, race fans a, a, the chance to do an experience or something that they might not otherwise get to do. You know, ride in the in the back of the truck with your favorite driver. Uh, we had a gentleman this year who paid over $16,000 to ride with Jeff Gordon on his last, you know, hurrah. So that was really neat, all of that money going to kids. So, you know, we're truly blessed. We do lots of things throughout the year. The good news is we've raised a lot of money. As I told you, last year we were blessed to have raised over $749,000. That's amazing. Isn't that great? Going to 88 nonprofit children's organizations, and that's really cool. Um, you know, the sad part of that, though, is that we had over $1.5 million requested, all from incredible nonprofit children's organizations right here in our region, and we couldn't meet those needs. I always mm -hmm. tell people raising money is great. People are very charitable. They're very giving. They're understanding of what we do. But the sad part is that um, I have to write those letters to people and say, I'm so sorry. We don't have enough money to go around. So that's why when we do events and, and things that we encourage people to support Speedway Children's Charities, knowing that all the money we raise is going directly to make life better for children. I know, it is amazing. Gosh, tell me a little bit about some of the organizations that you have helped and how they use the money. Oh, I mean, you know, we're blessed to uh, help a lot of boys and girls clubs and Girls Incorporated and the, the Y after school program and Small Miracles, children's advocacy centers in our region. Um, you know, Ronald McDonald House, uh, Nice Winger Children's Hospital, lots of things that are really, are, and they're projects that these things that they're requesting as money from us are things that they might not be able to do. I mean, they, it's not really in the budget, so right. to speak. So that's what we ask them to ask from us. We, you know, we're not paying um, salaries or, or bricks and mortar, as we call it, but just something that you want to do with children mm -hmm. that you can do possibly with just a little bit of money from the charities. And so, you know, it's it's great. Uh, we help do clothing and food, lots of need for that, at quality after school care, meet needs of lots of children, special needs children, you know, um, children who unfortunately have been abused. So there are lots of things that we, you know, that our, our trustees do. And, and as I said, it, it's re really rewarding to be able to do that and to see all those faces. We have what we call our night of smiles. And I think it was named that way. It was always our, just our money giveaway um, because you can't take the smile off of my face that day. It's my favorite day of the year. I said, you know, I think I told you, I'm blessed to have eight wonderful, healthy grandchildren. Um, but that, and I love their birthdays and I love holidays with them, but that night knowing that what we've done and the hard work we've put in has made a difference in the lives of thousands of children, it's just the most amazing time in the world. And you've really been there from like the ground up. I mean, this has just got to be like your baby, really. It is. It is. I mean, you, I can, um, as I tell people, you, you know, give me 
if you want me to give you five minutes or if you want to give me two minutes or 20 minutes and let me talk about what we do. And it's a team effort. Now, it's not just me. We have a team at Bristol Motor Speedway that is incredible. And the support, like for instance, Speedway and Lights, we own our light show and have for 19 years, but our employees put it together. We put it up, they take it down, um, any event we and do. And that's a lot of work. And that's a lot of work. <laughs> we all know that. Yeah, it's a lot of work. And you've been out there and seen <laughs> it firsthand. Um, and the thing about it is, you know, right after we clean up from the August race, we start doing working on lights. So, mm. you know, we have um, an incredible team that helps support us. And so it's a group effort to raise this money. It's not just me. It's not one group of people. It's, it's a whole group of people and a people who believe and are passionate about what we do. Mm -hmm. And one of the next events that's coming up, as I know you always host these events, is Sharkies, which is of course a favorite. We've got our friendly guy. Shark, yes. <laughs> um, the, our Sharky 500 is our little rubber shark race uh, we are going to have on October the 3rd. And people can buy sharks right now. Uh, um, the, the great thing about this is that the sharks were donated and everything for this event's donated. So if you purchase a shark for $10, every penny of that $10 is going to directly go toward a child. So I think it's a win-win situation for everybody. Um, this year, our grand prize is something I'm so excited about. I would love to have myself. I can't win. I'm not going to win, <laughs> but I'd love to have. It's a amazing John Deere crossover SUV that wow. Mead Tractor has kindly donated to us, and we're so excited about it, and my grandchildren would love for me to have that, but um, I just, I can't wait to be able to have the little rubber shark race. The sharks do go 500 yards. It is a Sharky yeah. 500 in Beaver Creek right there on the speed, at the speedway. Um, and so with, with that, that's a $19,000 prize. It also is on a trailer, which is not included in that $19,000. It has all the bells and whistles. The top 10 sharks get prizes. Some are raise tickets, you know, some are trips. And just, you know, it's really neat. Again, all of that's donated. The same day, we're gonna have a kids expo. It's free oh, events fun. for children. Um, it's from 11 to 1.30. The sharks drop at 1.30 on that day. You can buy them online. You can come to the Speedway and buy them. Um, we'll be set up at all kinds of events, Rhythm and Roots, you know, selling sharks. So please get one and know you're going to make a, a difference in the life of a child. But the other thing, that Free Kids Expo, a lot of the nonprofit agencies we help, they come and set up little booths and have activities for kids to do that are free. And so as the kids come in, we try to give every child something. We do t-shirts till they run out and just other little gifts that we might can give them. And they walk around and we have a stage with some entertainment going on and just an opportunity for families to come out for something for free for kids. Um, something that we just, we have bouncy houses, you know, just, just fun, a fun thing. And that way it also gives some of the nonprofits that we are blessed to be able to help. It gives them an opportunity to tell the community a little bit about themselves. So, you know, people can come out there on Saturday morning and um, do free activities. And if they want to stay, stay and see the sharks run, that's great. They and come down. And you know down. the winner because you write on, like, the, uh, they're Everyone is n numbered on okay. the bottom. So that's why when you buy one and we sell you, we don't pull a shark until we've sold the ticket. Okay. So we, we, if we sell a book of tickets, then we'll pull, a sh pull that book of sh you know, sharks. They're all sorted into tens. Okay. I do that myself. <laughs> and I do. I, um, but they all are put, you know, when they're done, they're cleaned and they're put in Ziploc bags. They're all sorted out numerically and you know in groups of 10 so if you sell a book you drop that book in if you only sell half of them you drop half of them you know the ones but we pick and them you out. can still donate and get involved even if you can't be you, there that exactly. day exactly you, you don't have to be have, present to win yeah you just have to be getting online so where do they go online they can go to the bristol motor speedway website or speedwaycharities.org and go right online and can purchase their shark go They'll tell them their number. They're welcome to come if they're in the area, want to come by the Speedway. We have them. I'm there all the time. They're welcome to come in and buy them from me. Claudia, thank you so much for being with us today. Am I missing anything? Anything you want to add? No, just wait for Speedway and Lights. Maybe we'll come have the opportunity now to come back later and talk that. to you about Speedway and Lights. That would be great. And we need to get out there, too, because it's just so beautiful out there. I know that's sort of just a tradition probably for every family in it this really region is. at this point. So you've got some great ideas going on there. You need this woman to brainstorm with because she's got lots of fun, creative things. So we appreciate you being on you. and we will see you probably soon. And make sure you get online and buy your Sharky. <laughs> That's coming up October 3rd. We'll be right back, stay with us.